Have you ever gone to the toilet and you're struggling so hard to poop and you're trying your level best? Or oh, have you ever spent a whole week without going to the toilet? Well, that's an indicator that you could be constipated. You're welcome once again to Data Refactor, a show that is brought to you by your favorite dietitian and wellness expert, Jackie Immaculate Chirabo and Forever Media. Constipation simply is the difficulty in passing stools or infrequent passage of hard, dry stool. It's not really a good place to be, I think, and it's not normal. It's not normal. People have tried to make constipation part of their lives. They're like, I could go a week without going to the toilet. I assure you, it's not normal and it should not be part of your life. Everyone should have a bowel movement every day. Everyone should go to the toilet every day because this speaks so much about your health. Why? Because constipation can arise later into very dangerous conditions actually. It could lead to bowel cancer, it could lead to hemorrhoids, it could also lead to gas and bloating and that's really uncomfortable. It could even lead to bad breath. I mean some people have bad breath but they don't know where it comes from it could also lead to fatigue constipation is really not a, a good condition and we should never at any one point normalize it what are some of the causes of constipation though it could be because of a bowel disease probably you could be having inflammatory bowel syndrome it's an indicator that something is missing it could also be due to your diet that plays a really key role in development of constipation especially if you're always consuming junk foods it could also be to due to some drugs and medication which drugs are you taking it can also develop during pregnancy most pregnant women really get this condition but it can always be sorted it can always be sorted it could also be due to a muscle disorder like the muscles that are supposed to con to contract and not really doing so and that is why we need to address it because if if you do not address it it could lead to more fatal conditions how do you deal with constipation it's it's not comfortable i could say and how to deal with it is really really simple three days or more without going to the toilet you need to increase your fiber intake eat lots and lots of food that are high in fiber actually some of the best foods are apples apples have something called pectin which is so good for the colon bananas are also good they have soluble fiber which helps <coughs> with stool then we have beans beans are also rich in soluble fiber cabbage all sorts of fruit and vegetables whole grains are really really fiber rich and they are so so necessary to have a good bowel movement because you need to have a bowel movement every day that means that you need to incorporate these foods in your diet every day you also need to hydrate drink enough water if you've had chronic constipation you've been struggling with this condition for quite some time your water intake would be low so increase water intake and also increase foods that are high in water Foods such as cucumber are really high in water. Watermelon is also good. So eat more foods that are, have a high water content and drink actual water. That would help you with water is actually the best stool softener. If you want to avoid constipation once and for all, you need to drink water whether you're thirsty or not. The other beneficial tip for you is to reduce junk foods junk foods are low in fiber they are high in fat they actually inflame the gut and in the long run you you you, you are constipated you have gas you're bloated it's really really not a beautiful place to be and it it affects your daily life reduce certain foods now there are certain foods that are really hard to digest and and in such a condition where you're constipated you need to take out some of these foods uh such foods are dairy 
So if you, you've had chronic constipation or if you get constipated, most times reduce your dairy intake, reduce soft drinks as well, white flour and sugar. These cause inflammation, they're kind of hard for the gut to digest. And so if you are looking towards kicking out uh, constipation for good, these are foods that you eliminate for, you could eliminate them for about two to three weeks so that your gut is rested from hard to digest foods. Red meat also can be eliminated for just a few weeks so that your gut is restored and it can be able to digest the food so well. The other tip for you is get some exercise. Exercise actually speeds up the movement of waste through the intestines and it's really necessary. A 20 minute walk would do you good if you've been constipated for quite some time. Next up, you need to go to the toilet at the same time of the day. Our bodies have a biological clock and if you always poop, let me say at 8 p.m., make your body used to that. Never repress the urge to defecate. It's, it's not really good. So whenever you feel like you need to go to the toilet and poo, please do it. It is good for your health because if you're eating food every day and you're not taking out waste, it's really not good. That means there's waste accumulation and it's not good for your well-being. If you've had chronic constipation for a really, really long time, you need to consider getting a fiber supplement. Fiber is really necessary, but very few people take in the daily recommended amount of fiber and fiber supplements come in handy. One of my very best is psyllium husk. Psyllium husk is really, really a good one. If you've had chronic constipation, it's a laxative. It will help you flush out all, all that poop that has taken so long without coming out. It will also help prevent hemorrhoids and all those other things that are caused by constipation. Lastly, you need to add probiotic rich foods to your diet. Probiotic rich foods include yogurt, yogurt, especially plain yogurt. Plain yogurt is really good. And also think of getting yourself a probiotic supplement. Now, probiotics are the good bacteria for the for the gut and so sometimes you're constipated because of the imbalance of bacteria in your gut the bad bacteria out outweigh the good ones and so that means that digestion is not going on as it should be so a probiotic supplement comes in handy and when you do a uh, foods that are high in fiber the foods high in fiber feed the good bacteria and that betters your well-being and your gut health bowel movements are really necessary for life because they remove waste and toxins remember you're eating food every day and they have to be toxic substances that are removed after that so it's important for you to have at least a bowel movement every day bowel movements really differ but don't go at three days without going to the toilet it's really not good for your health Thank you for watching Data Refactor. I remain your favorite dietitian and wellness expert. See you next time. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please subscribe. Follow Forever Media channel. Follow me, your favorite dietitian, on Instagram and Twitter. On Instagram, it's your favorite dietitian. And on Twitter, it is at Jackie Imi. Thank you so much. As always, I love you so much. See you next time. Data Refactor. Thank you.